This has become a norm on this channel that we bring you the last Arsenal preps before the game they are going to play. And guess what? It's one of those videos that I just cannot wait to record because it really has loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of views that it generates right so guys welcome to rockani media football good morning it's a tuesday in my country and you don't know what time it is in your country by the time of recording it's a tuesday 12th of march 2024 and we're here to bring you the arsenal news show on to how they went ahead to prepare for their last sorry for their last round of 16 game remember the first leg ended in favor of fc porto they beat arsenal by one goal to nil the goal came in late it was a spectacular and david raya couldn't really put his team to the save smash like button close to 300 times and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because we are left with like 25 subscribers to hit um to hit 20,000 subscribers so guys continue to subscribe how do you subscribe lower right bottom corner is the place to be smash the black button that has <clears throat> the word subscribe then hit the notification bell after subscribing that will enable you get notified every time i upload a video onto this channel now this is already and let's obviously thank god for the gift of life for the christians who are really in the land period and for the muslims ramadan karim now let's start it off with Mikel Ateta and what he had to say about how hungry he is to obviously win this game of football of fc porto he said on how hungry he is to win today now a lot because i haven't had my dinner yet we have to achieve something we haven't done for 14 years so you can imagine so ateta knows that this is not a molehill this is a mountain you get and to really go ahead to really win the climb of a mountain you have to have all the equipment ready and you need to know the task ahead of you and for such a task you need to go with the required water you know the shoes you know the the attires you know you have to have you, you must be having the best <clears throat> to put yourself to where you deserve to be now Mikel Ateta has gone ahead obviously say this is really gonna happen and he is really very hungry for a win today him being hungry for a win today is really very 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 evident because Arsenal hadn't hasn't gone ahead to obviously qualify for the round of 16 in the last 14 years and they last qualified after they lost to one away in FC Porto they returned to Emirates and they knocked them out on a 6-2 goal difference Nicola Bentina I think his squad was it four or three holes into that game so Ateta is really hungry and the hunger is seen even on the players because they have to do the need for remember these players get huge bonuses every time they go to the next round of the champions league they are winning bonuses that these players are accustomed to to get and the more they do that the more they obviously get themselves to that level so the players are really hungry and they just can't wait to see how this is really gonna go into their favor so the final preparations are done and the manager is really totally hungry to see to it that this game of football really goes his way so the hung the hung he has gone ahead to relate the hunger of arsenal to the last 14 years they haven't gone ahead to get out of the round of 16 and they need to really put up the best of a show at the emirates if they're to do the needful and that hunger needs to be expressed as i told you that as i saw arsenal approach the game of newcastle at emirates I want them to do that in the first 10 minutes Arsenal should be having a goal because if you really let FC Porto to grow into this game then they won't get frustrated Arsenal has to really show their hunger and turn it into a frustration to the side of FC Porto don't allow FC Porto to go to the game attack them left right and center and the rest will be history then the manager was asked on the potential of being on top of the Premier League table and in the last eight of the Champions League, he said, we have to make it happen today, but we have to be very good to achieve it. So, the manager is already on top of the Premier League table and now he wants to see Arsenal into the round of, the round of eight. I've always reiterated my words that Arsenal has always gone ahead to be looking in for more money from the Champions League and that's exactly what it means. 
if they play in the quarterfinals, they'll be in a hundred million pound club to gate. You know, if they reach the semifinals, they'll get more money, and they play the finals, they'll get more money because Arsenal gets in huge revenue in terms of Man City. That is it because it really has loads and loads of fans, and every time they go to the next level, you know, TV money is huge. The price, the ticket, the the ticket, the price of tickets really go ahead to really uh, to go north. So that is Mikel Arteta, and that's why he really wants his play his team to play very well today and to win this game of football. Now let's get into the preparations of Arsenal also, and uh, then after I really try to throw more and more and more and more and more. All right, can I really show you, tell you what he has told us at the end from the first leg? Let's let's go to the gallery. Let, let's go to the gallery and see how these players went ahead to train. Then later, I'm going to really bring you exactly what you really need to know about this beautiful fixture of Arsenal in there for you. So, Arsenal, obviously, had the following players on the pitch. <clears throat> that is, Saka very much geared up for the game of football one of those i've gone ahead to call up to obviously react when it comes to doing the needful for the side of arsenal in here onto this channel that is bokayo saka for you so after that you see um this is ben white you see Jorginho, reston hillshorn cedric soares and very many others tommy yasu is there at the farthest of the picture you can as well witness exactly what he has to say this is Mikel Arteta obviously looking on and trying to really tell his people that or his players that all we need is a pure charge. This is the photo that we'll ever want to watch. That is Julian Timber and Tommy Yasu having a jazz after Tommy Yasu got welcomed back at the side of Arsenal from <coughs> from the Asian Cup when he was really knocked out he came back got an injury and the rest is history now he's back for julian himba he's expected to be part of the squad of arsenal to really be fronted at emirates as arsenal plays against fc porto and he is expected to play a very huge part into the remaining games of arsenal and we go to thomas Partey and gabriel jesus thomas Partey returned but he has only gonna hit to play some minutes off the bench the same applies to gabriel jesus ever since he returned he has not gonna hate to start a game he came back in the game of newcastle and the manager never really played him and in the game of um in the game of sheffield he get a goal and um, in the game of brentford he was brought on and played i think the last 20 minutes the manager in the press conference told us that these two are really fit to start but it will depend on how their game plan will be executed then we go to odegaard kai havertz declan rice el nini and very many others trying to obviously do the leap ups you know the limps you know they were limping in there for you and i think they were do doing jumps jump overs those are jump over not limps and charging for the fc portal game because they need to make history and break the dreadlock that has been there for the last 14 years Mikel Arteta having a go at his players and looking on during the training sessions that are being held at the Sobha reality training ground. This is Benjamin White, I think, with uh, uh, with a Gabriel Jesus trying to obviously try to get lifted by the number nine of us, and that is Gabriel Jesus. And this is the reason as to why he was really brought in here. He took them to the Champions League after six, seven years because they last played in the Champions League in 2016. But in 2023, they had to play. In 2023, they are back in the Champions League and he knows that he has a very huge part to play, especially with his experience that he had from Man City to bring the club of Arsenal to take them to the round of eight. And those draws, I think, are going to be held very soon. What a way to sit it that these draws are held with the club of Arsenal in. Then, Saka, obviously very smiley. This is a guy that is always all smiles. And it's hard to really notice that this guy really gets himself really a bad day without really smiling from ear to ear. So that is Bokayo Saka for you with a very huge task ahead of him. Thomas Partey, charged, very excited 
before the encounter between them and FC Porto and his experience would be vital and integral into this fixture of Arsenal. Then Trossard, one of those expected to start and really do wonders against FC Porto as Martinelli is out of contention for this encounter at the Emirates and he never really had a very good game when they're playing against Brentford but I think he can really get himself a good run of games because he really has two bad games off consecutively and he might rise up to the occasion and do the needful because FC Porto is not like these Premier League sides you know I know they're having good intensity but Arsenal is gonna be home and they might annihilate FC Porto now someone this, this looks like I have it, obviously stepping on the ball and um, Declan Rice man of the season by the way if you are considerate the best Arsenal player this season is Declan Rice I know people would say Bokayo Saka but for me I say Declan Rice because this guy is everywhere he shields the back four he scores goals he puts in assists he tackles he runs he steps on every blade of the grass at Emirates this guy is really exceptional and is doing wonders and there is a story I'm really planning to do where even David Moyes came up and really gave him his flowers. Gavin Hevo, Jamie Carragher, um, Harry Redknapp, um, Ian Wright and very many others. They've come out and given Declan Rice his flowers because of how he's going to have to fit in in that side of Arsenal. And none of the pundits, all me here, talking about his price because he has lived out his price. That is Declan Rice trying to obviously win the tackle of the ball from El Nini and he was really running into the space. That is Declan Rice for you. Then Bukayo Saka obviously supporting his body with his knees, you know, through his hands in there for you, trying to look on. Looks like they are in set pieces because set piece training because look at where the ball is. It's in the arc. <clears throat> it's in the arc of the corner and Arsenal have gone ahead to really score 19 set pieces in the Premier League so we just can't wait to see whether tomorrow is going to be that other day where they are going to come out to capitalize onto one of their their biggest killer killer moves in the Champions League against FC Porto the trio that is expected to start Gabriel Magales He's really a very good defender. He has gone ahead to do a very beautiful job into this encounter of or into the season of Arsenal. Declan Rice, I've just gone ahead to say everything about him. I've emptied all his dues at Arsenal. And Odegaard, Captain Fantastic, obviously doing one of those jobs of really unlocking the defenses of other teams. And he needs to be on his best to unlock the side of FC Porto today. Emily Smith Rowe, one of those that people are really waiting for him to really come good and really retain his position at Arsenal but with the world-class players coming in throughout Arsenal looks like it's gonna be hard because he can't keep himself fit Zinchenko obviously trying to block the move of Emily Smith Rowe but obviously it looks like Emily Smith Rowe was really 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 ready and aggrieved to really go past Zinchenko then uh, Nketia and everyone is going to forget about him but he's one of those players that is part of the Arsenal team to play against FC Porto and he might find himself win a very big trophy at Arsenal this season though he has not been really very past 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 into this second half of the season um uh this is a uh, Cedric Soares trying to stop Rhys Nelson in there for you one of those players that might even start at the left forward of Arsenal Benjamin White, El Nini, Bukayo Saka, Emily Smith Rowe, Rhys Nelson and very many others being taken through the warm-up drills at the Sobha Reality Training Center that was formerly called London Conley. Then players obviously doing the needful Julian Timber the joy of very many um you can look at uh, saliba the rose royce jesus leading the players and thomas Partey doing the needful for the club of arsenal getting ready for the side of 
uh, FC Porto. Jorginho having a laugh with Gabriel Magalhães. You know, all those are Brazilians and they obviously make it up together well in there for you. So those are the those are the photos that we're going to hate obviously gather from the website of Arsenal as far as all this is concerned. But there are certain... Um, there are certain stories that I feel like are really very, very integral into this story before I obviously end it. Ateta on what he has learned from the first leg of FC Porto. Every week, every opponent has their strengths and weaknesses and the way that they approach the game. And now we know them a bit better. We have played these kind of games many times in the Premier League. We played one, two, one, two days ago. We will just add, we'll just focus on being ourselves and do more of the things that we can that we can control better than we did a few weeks ago. So he has noted loads of things that really failed them, and it's really evident that they failed to score goals. They controlled the game, but they couldn't really find that line breaking that line breaking pass through a defense that was commanded by a 40-year-old Pepe. And I really thought that they would have gone ahead to capitalize onto that, but they didn't. So he knows exactly what it is, and he feels like he is going to really capitalize on the weaknesses of FC Porto and really control his game better and maybe win the game of football today. Ateta, on if there was a game where he realized the impact of fans can have, he said, The first derby that I played with PSG against Marseille, I could not believe the atmosphere. I went to Scotland and played in the old farm, that is, the old farm derby, and I was shocked. That is between Rangers and um, Celtic. So it can play a huge part in giving you so much energy and belief. And I'm sure today is going. And I'm sure today is going to be that. That is Mikel Ateta for you. So he knows how the fans really needs need to obviously rise up today at the Emirates to take Arsenal to where they deserve to be. So thank you guys for watching. Throw me thoughts about Arsenal final preps ahead of the game of uh fc porto in the comment section below my prediction is 3-1 for arsenal and we can't wait to see how that game really fares but there are even other games uh psv is paying a visit to brisha dortmund uh, the first leg ended 1-1 whoever wins takes it all a draw they go to penalties barcelona was beaten in napoli on nepal's by one goal to nil and they are really gonna fight to win by a margin of two goals and it's rumored if Xavi doesn't really knock out Napoli, he might get sucked by the Barcelona board. Though he really went ahead to say he's leaving at the end of the summer. Sorry, at the end of the season. Then, um, which other teams are playing? Um, there is Inter Milan and Atletico Madrid. They're really having a go today. and We just can't wait to see who's really going to win. Inter Milan went ahead to beat uh, Inter Milan went ahead to beat Atletico Madrid at home by one goal to nil. So they are playing away in Spain today. Those are the four matches. After those matches, we know that the draw is going to be held for the round of 16 and the semi final draw will also be made. So thank you guys for watching through. I'm out. Ramadan Karim, the Christians enjoy your Lent period and let's see what the Lord has for us. Ciao, ciao.